The Wharf was the first place I ever performed in Sydney. Uh, I hadn't even been out of Western Australia before. And so I was a real baby and couldn't believe that this was the place that I got to perform every night. Being a child and seeing the corridor extend into eternity and thinking that this was this extraordinary, magical place unlike any other I'd ever been to. The first show that I saw on the wharf was The Seven Stages of Grieving with Ursula Jovic. It was life-changing, that performance and that play. I was shattered by it and moved by it and inspired by it and had my mind open as a teenager to my country's history. The show that does stick with me the most was Cloud Nine by Carol Churchill, directed by Kip. I don't I get teary when I think of it. Heather Mitchell on the swing. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. <laughs> I remember actually raising my arms to catch her because I was so sure she was going to come flying off. But if Heather Mitchell comes flying off a swing, she'll probably fly anyway. So I've never in my life finished watching a show as an audience member with my arms up to catch someone. There's something very idiosyncratic about those theatres. There's a, a particular energy to them. I think it's connected to the history of the building. I think it's the way in which that building feels part of the city's history and the materials of the building, the wood, they feel like ancient materials and it feels very connected to how old this art form of storytelling is when you make theatre in the wharf. Any story is an incredible mosaic of legacy and messages passed on and our job is also to keep that legacy going for the future, for future audiences, future voices, future actors, future writers, artists, designers. That's sort of in the walls of the space and if you listen really closely you can hear the water lapping. There's this amazing fluidity to the wharf and then you walk out of a rehearsal room or a theatre and then you've got the glittering city of Sydney with all its past, with all its history, with all its legacy, um, with all its beauty and with all its flaws. And that's the incredible thing. It, make, it feels like you become paved into the pathway of not just Sydney storytelling, but Australian storytelling. My hope for The Wharf is that it continues that great tradition of Australian storytelling, but also expands the possibilities of what writers and directors and designers and actors and technicians can do in that space and take Australian storytelling forward into the 21st century. New presence, new energies, that's the way forward with any kind of theatre and I think mm -hmm. the New Wharf will handle that beautifully. To come back to The Wharf, to come back to the company's home venues and make these intimate pieces of theatre, there's nothing quite like it.